Marshall Drawback Cup, the 55th edition in the city of Lagos. It was indeed great and um, awesome. Bosse is unstoppable. But then our correspondent, Solomon Ajiziogu, says she is indeed a legend of the tennis. For the ninth consecutive year of asking, Bosse Odunsoya has made a record extending win of Africa's longest table tennis championship, the Moladi Okoya Thomas Table Tennis Championship. Bosse defeated Anolu Akwanjuan by four straight games to emerge champion. She won 11 2, 11 6, 11 6, and 11 6. Anytime I want to play, I should drop back. I used to train hard. I used to be focused, so that's why I normally win the tournament. Then I don't underrate anyone in this tournament. Moise Adegoke has followed in her footsteps with a second successive win of the men's singles title. Moise defeated Augustine Emmanuel in four straight games to emerge champion of the men's singles of the 55th edition of the championship. He won 13-11, 11-7, 13-11, and 11-3. Last two years ago, I, I entered final, so I lost in it. I didn't be able to play my final because of I, I go and write exam. But um, in 2022, I entered final again, I won. This 2023 again, I, thank God, I, I won this 2023 again. We recognize it's time to take it to another level. And that is why we have initiated the setup of a local organizing committee who will work with us, the family, work with the Lagos State Table Tennis Association to uplift the competition, bring in some more players. We may make the competition open. That's part of the, think the thinking. Rather than restricting it to just Lagos State-based players, we may open it to other states. As the festival of table tennis continues this week, some of the young stars who took part in the Moladi Okoya Thomas Championship will be squaring up in the Daniel Ford Elite Youth Invitational, which runs from the 21st to the 22nd of this month, while the senior players will look ahead to the Top 16 National Championship, which holds on the 23rd. Salomon Ajiziogu, TVC News, Lagos.